hero. Number three, Sam Wilson. Number four, Louis Miller. Elliot Sandy, obviously sporting manager, 9-0. Massive result, well done. Thank you. Uh, what's your initial reaction, obviously, first game in charge? Uh, obviously buzzing. The results are uh, like really, really good. We, um, the lads sort of put into the game exactly what we needed, getting further forward, putting pressure uh, on them in their penalty box, and obviously just getting goals, and that's exactly what we've done. Yeah, no, flying. Um, what do you make of the um, with Dove Town? I think second half they looked a bit a bit of a threat coming up, but uh, obviously you killed them off with a few more goals there. Yeah, I think fair, uh, a lot of credit's got to go to Daventry to be fair because they are a young side. Um, they've sort of been thrown in at the deep end a bit. Um, some of them playing at obviously this level for the first time, but like you said, second half they could have really given given in being six 0 down. But they give their gaffer everything. They really wanted to show that. They, they wanted to be out there and they, they, I thought they played really well. It was only really late in the game when probably they started to tire a bit that we got, we got the other the other goals. But uh, yeah, fair play to them for not just uh, giving in. Yeah, no, fair play. Obviously, like you said, that was your first game in charge. You hit the ground running there. Um, Sporting, they sit third in the league. What's your aim this season? You're going for the top? Yeah, of course. That's uh, I think that's what we got to aim for. Um, We've got a very tough run in. We've got a lot of teams up around the playoffs, but uh, I've got a lot of belief in the squad that we have. Uh, the players that we have, that we are capable. Obviously, we had a, a run at the start of the season, 20 games unbeaten. There's no reason to say that we can't go on and win a lot of games towards the end of the year and hopefully win the league. But if not, secure the playoffs and hopefully uh, promotion by the end of the yeah, season. Nice. Obviously, back to Northamptonshire on uh, Saturday. It's Corby Town, isn't it? Did yeah, expect... Corby next week. Yeah, on Wednesday. Week? Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're expecting a, a bit of a harder test there. Yeah, definitely. Corby, obviously, a really good side. Um, they've got Gary Setchell in as manager, who's one of the best managers at this level and experienced. So there's me. That will be about my third game as a manager yeah. against one of, one of the best around. So uh, we know it's going to be very difficult. Corby's my old club as well. That have a, the fan base is unbelievable. So they're going to be right behind the t behind their team. Um, so we've got to make sure we're at it. Like this is a great result, but it's only the start. Really, we have to build on it. We know Bedworth will be tough for Saturday. Corby again on the Wednesday, so uh, yeah, we've got a lot of tough games ahead, but I'm sure we'll be ready for it. Right, and obviously, congratulations, thanks for your time. No we'll, uh, we'll see you again soon. Yeah, of course. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Dylan Edge, uh, hat trick tonight. Congrats, 9 0 win. What's your initial reaction to that? I uh, just, well, I'm pleased for myself, pleased for the boys. I've come to get the job done. That's all we're here for, really. That's, that's another game that we needed to tick over and yeah, get us, get us within the top three. Was you expecting a bit of a tougher game tonight? Obviously, 9 0 doesn't sound a tough game. Uh, yeah, we was expecting a little bit more of a push considering we see the Hal Zone result. We thought they'd give us a bit more bite, but I think in the end, we just needed that and we needed to do it to someone. Unfortunately, that's them today. Oh, good man. Obviously, uh, third in the league there, massive result. Um, you guys at Bedworth Saturday. Are you looking for sort of similar performance there? Yeah, it's just making sure that we maintain a high level. Today it was it was hard to get to our highest, but I think that'll push us on now. Saturday we'll really go again and we'll get to that next level and hopefully put in another performance like this. Yeah, good man. And then it's back to Northamptonshire after that Corby Town. That'll be a tougher game. Yeah, that'll be a tough one. I've got obviously a close mate of mine, Toby, there. That'll be that'll be huge for us and that's yeah. a must win. We've got to go for it and yeah, see where we end up. Good man, appreciate your time. That's all right. Yep. Um Commiserations on a uh, defeat there tonight. Yeah. Um, what's your uh, initial reaction? We lost the game in the first half. We changed formation. We, I think, we tried to go and play football against them, which was a mistake. Um, the personnel we had in um, at half time, we changed formation, um, and it seemed to make the difference. Um, 
they come out as a three. We, we didn't react quick enough to change the formation really. When they start with three on top, we should change the formation straight away within five minutes. Um, we changed. For, we did change the formation in the second half. Made one player come off, um, and uh, yeah, I, I honestly thought the second half for the uh, you know for eighty percent of the first uh, second half, I thought we were competing with them. Yeah, um, and then I think fitness showed. Um, our lads, we just we haven't fit enough for this level yet, and that's and that's the, the you know there's no getting away from that. Yeah, you'll um, see. Well, I spoke to Elliot Sandy there. He, he says that they say second half it was a different team that come out, and fitness told in the end. Um, obviously Saturday back in business. Yeah, expect a reaction. Now. Was a, we'll get a reaction. Um, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna line up the formation that we have been lining up. It's the one that we seem to be getting the most out of. Um, uh, there's one or two more players to come in. Um, there's a couple didn't get signed today. Um, but that was a shame, really. But they couldn't play, and we had to send them away. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to go again. Uh, you know, it, it's you know, I'm not not despondent at all. It's no. you know, I think I suppose their naivety in the first half really showed um, at this level. Um, yeah, and we're, you know, we're, and we've got to take that on the chin. You know, yeah. all we can do is put things right going forwards. Oh, fair play. Obviously, there's dab time. We're going through a few things, but I mean, is the squad together that you've got? Are they yeah. ready to fight for you? Yeah, they, the they're budget? all going to fight for us. So they're all on it. Um, you know, we want to. You know, we, you know, we're turning up to lose. Right. It's um, you know, it's all, all the lads are committed. I've got 100 percent commitment out of every single player in there. Jeff's committed. Pete's committed. Um, we're trying to bring players through the club. We've got a lot of air under 18s out there tonight. Um, you know, which is great for the club, and some of the reses have stepped up. Um, we've got one or two more in. Um, we, we are looking for a centre half. Um, we're looking for one or two players just strengthen the spine, um, just to you know, because I'm confident. I am adamant, not confident, that we are going to get points on the board by the end yeah, of the good, season. Good. Uh, well, I, I appreciate your time. Um, we've had a great night, your staff looked after us all night, so Brilliant. thanks a lot, we'll definitely be back and um, hopefully we'll, we'll come back and the result will be a bit more positive. I'm hoping so. Good man, <laughs> thanks for your time. Thank Cheers. you very much, thank you.